Six months ago, we had a conversation about you trying to get over to the U.S. You got your visa. Yeah. How's yeah. the reception been? Pretty insane, definitely. It's like, obviously, we're waiting so long to come over here, and people have been telling us you're big in the States. I think one of your biggest nice. remixes that puts you on the map would be uh, Prax from Freestyle. Would you not say that? Yeah, it's like Prax and Gold Dust was like the start for me, I think. And uh, what, what went into the uh, choosing of that, those songs? Um, well, Cracks, I was talking with Tommy, who's a schism, and he runs Never Say Die. And I was just designed on circles with Dr. P, and he was Never Say Die. And we were talking about releases coming up, and he was like, yeah, I've got a phone mix coming up, a schism release, and then a freestyle remix package, doing a Fox Pavilion remix. And I was like, hang on a sec, what do you mean Fox Pavilion remix? And he was like, do you want to do it? I'm like, yeah, well, sounds good. And that's how we did it. Now, uh, at the university, you're studying uh, your classical composer, uh, uh, I was studying composition, it's like commercial composition. Basically I went to university because I'd given up any hope of making it. I thought maybe I could make some music films or video games or something like that. It's a strange decision to make when you're 18 and then you're going to make it. But I kind of went to uni and then on my first day I went to a party, heard Rusker, first time I heard Dubstep and then that changed my life. So you know, a lot of people don't know that these uh, instruments that you pick up and dabble with are actually uh, modulated just a little bit and put on your records. You want to talk about what you've made, you know, original content that you put on your album? Um, well, the album is kind of basically I've written the album to be performed live. So next year I'm gonna I've got a four piece band that I've put together. So we're working on that and taking the whole thing completely live. So I'll be doing like all the singing and guitar and saxophone. And be like full split or samples of ads and stuff like that. So it's like aiming to try to get the same energy, but with a proper life band. Um, I saw you were donating, you actually created your own bass can and sold it on eBay for charity. You yeah. want to talk a little bit about that? It's kind of like the whole, basically, do you know Chris Morris over in the UK? He's like a, he was doing a massive charity thing for Comic Relief, and then like Mr. Jam went in there, showed him my track, and started playing it. So the only reason it kind of got such a massive reception in the UK was because of his charity. So I figured, why not do something for charity with the track myself? Like, when is the next time we can expect to see you guys come through in New York? It's I think possibly coming over for New Year's, maybe do a Halloween show as well. Ooh. But I want to, on March, April time, come over and do another big tour because my album should be out by then. I'm doing all the live singing and everything like that. So, oh. so now uh, let's uh, let's look into the crystal ball per se. What's uh, what's Fox Pavilion doing in ten years from now? Hopefully drinking a slightly nicer rum than the <laughs> But pretty much doing the same thing. Just, yeah, making tunes. Yeah, right well Josh, we appreciate your time here. And uh, you guys have been tuning into the Electro Kitchen with DJ Play and Josh here.